Hi, my name is Alden and this is video number two in our series about audition prep. If you want to check out the first video, it's linked below. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the blues. It's the most important part probably of your audition. It's the foundation of this music and so the panel is going to be really listening to what you can do over the blues as an improviser. It's great to use the blues scale, it's such an amazing tool when you're learning the blues, but you know it's really important that you understand each progression and the way it moves from one to four and in jazz blueses there's a movement of three six two five and in bird blueses there's even more harmonic changes that happen and in a minor blues it's just really important that you learn all these different styles of blueses and feel really comfortable playing all of them. Beyond learning the different types of blueses, it's really important that you know the blues in a bunch of different keys, as many as is doable for you. Um, if you can do all 12 keys, that, that'll be amazing, but B flat, F, C, those are really important keys to learn the blues in, and also the minor blues. The tempo is also something that's really important to be able to change up when you're playing the blues, so be prepared to play a fast blues a slow blues and a blues in different styles and you know understand how to improvise on a slow blues versus a fast blues and how those two things are really different and you can do that by listening to different versions of blues is um, all through the history of jazz you know there's a lot of there's a lot of blueses out there that you can use for reference and there's some great heads, like for a slow blues in B flat, you can learn Blue Monk by Thelonious Monk, or for a fast blues in F, you can do Bird Like by Freddie Hubbard. Um, there's just so many options, Straight Note Chaser and Mr. PC for a minor blues, Blues for Alice for a bird blues. Just learn as many blues heads as you can. It's really important to really be as prepared as possible. As you transition into improvising over the blues, it's really important that you understand the form and the way the harmony moves. Using the blues scale is a great way to initially learn the blues, but you know, if you really want to find your voice in this style and present yourself to the panel so that they know how you are as an improviser, it's really important to understand the movement of the harmony. You can go through the harmony using arpeggios or one, three, five, something like this. Keep it really simple at first, and then you can start to develop different ideas and use different patterns. You can use the pentatonic one, two, three, five. Just mix it up and try to find ways to improvise using really basic patterns, and then you can get more elaborate with different ideas. Once you feel really comfortable with these sorts of exercises, then you'll be able to start to develop different melodic ideas and really find your voice. In conclusion, it's really important to learn the blues really well. It's a foundation in this music, and so the panel is going to be really listening to how you improvise and what you play and you know the types of blues heads that you've learned and the different keys that you can play it in, the different styles, the different types of blueses, and how well you really understand the form. All of this is just a resource to help you become more confident in your audition. And a big part of that is also presentation. You want to appear confident as a band leader and through your clothing and the way you speak in your interview. So in the next video, I'm going to be talking about presentation and professionalism.